Hello, after a long time, welcome back to the Medicine AT channel internal medicine series. Today we are going to discuss a mind map about thalassemia. First, we are going to look at beta thalassemia. Beta thalassemia is caused by a point mutation in 11th chromosome. Not like alpha thalassemia, which is a gene deletion, this is a point mutation. The genetic representation of beta thalassemia include beta representing normal beta chain production, beta plus representing reduced beta chain production, and beta naught representing absent beta chain production. So it can be heterozygous just like beta beta plus and beta beta naught and also it can be homozygous like beta plus beta plus or beta naught beta naught. In case of heterozygous we call it beta thalassemia minor or trait. In homogeneous the beta plus beta plus is mostly beta thalassemia intermediate and beta naught beta naught is beta thalassemia major or we call coolis anemia now let's look more deeply about three categories first beta thalassemia minor or trait this is mainly a asymptomatic heterozygous carrier stage these can be mild anemia or not if anemia present can confuse with IDA is it? Let's see about the hemoglobin erythropoiesis. Hemoglobin A will go down. HbA means adult hemoglobin default. HbA2 will rise. HbA2 means alternative adult hemoglobin. And there may be a little rise in fetal hemoglobin, HbF. Hemoglobin count is more than 90 gram per liter usually. This asymptomatic carrier stage can show symptoms when pregnant because of increased demand. Now let's discuss about beta thalassemia intermediate. It describes an intermediate state with moderate anemia but not requiring transfusion. There may be splenomegaly. Usually it coexists with alpha thalassemia trait, HBC thalassemia, sickle cell beta thalassemia. They are symptomatic with moderate anemia. HB count usually around 70 to 100 grams per liter. These symptoms can be splenomegaly, bone deformities, and recurrent leg ulcers. So let's move to beta thalassemia major. Most children affected by this disease present in their first week of life with failure to thrive and recurrent bacterial infections. Severe anemia for three to six months, extramedullary hematopoiesis leads to hepatomegaly and bone expansion. So let's look at the main points of beta cell thalassemia major. Zero beta cell production, we call it Coolidge anemia, and also it's a hemolytic anemia. Jaundice, hepatomegaly, splenomegaly, extramedullary hematopoiesis, which we can see chipmunk face true cut skull and alpha tetramers present because of zero beta cell production and these patients are transfusion dependent so as you can see the beta thalassemia is chromosome 11 point mutation these are the common genotypes of uh, beta thalassemia but most common form of presentation is beta plus beta plus reduced beta cell production beta thalassemia intermediate and the others are same. Let's move to look at some major signs and symptoms in beta thalassemia major. Jaundice, yellow skin, and cheap monk, monk face, hepatomegaly, splenomegaly. This is the typical picture of beta thalassemic face. Thank you.